Hello chess lovers, Soren here and in this video I want to share with you an interesting game played by the 8th world chess champion Mikhail Tal. His opponent is Soviet chess master Alexander Cherepkov and the game was played at 1968-69 USSR championship. But before starting our game consider subscribing in order not to miss my future uploads. This game was played in Almaty, which is a city in Kazakhstan, and Mikhail Tal, who was playing with the white pieces, opened up with e4. Cherepkov responded with e5, knight f3, knight c6, bishop b5. We have the Ruy Lopez, a6, Morphy defense, bishop a4, knight f6, white castles, kingside, bishop e7, black is choosing the closed variations, rook e1, b5, bishop b3, black castles, kingside, c3, d6, h3, I have to tell you that these are positions which have been seen thousands of times and we are probably in the most popular line of the Spanish game, c5, d4, queen c7, knight d2, knight c6, another popular alternative is c takes d4, c takes d4 is actually more popular but in our game we have knight c6, a3, well instead of playing a3, d5 is better and then a4, this gives white better chances, but after knight c6 we have a3, knight d7, which looks a bit strange. Instead of playing knight d7 in here, the best move is considered to be bishop d7, but in our game we have knight d7. And the problem with this knight d7 is that now by playing d5 and then b4, white could gain pretty nice position and a space advantage. I really don't like how black pieces are placed, but in our game after knight d7, Tal chose d takes e5, which is a less ambitious try, d takes e5 by Cherepkov, a4, knight b6, a takes b5, a takes b5, after which the players exchanged their rooks, knight f1, knight b6, knight e3, bishop e6, at this point I have to tell you that the players have equal chances, maybe white has a slight advantage due to the fact that can put his knight on this active square, but all in all the players have equal chances. But it was in here that Cherepkov made a mistake and captured on d5, after which white is managing to gain advantage, instead it was better to move away the queen for example on b7 square. But in our game after knight d5 we have knight takes d5. He takes d5 by Tal. Now we have a very nice double attack. That's why black is forced to pin the pawn and a move which probably Cherepkov missed when going for this line is bishop takes h7 which Mikhail Tal made. Now the idea of bishop takes h7 is that now if king takes h7 then queen c2 check is coming and white is unpinning the pawn. If king g8 then after d takes e6, f takes e6, white can play queen g6 and with this shattered pawn islands black is facing serious problems. Or after queen c2 check if move like f5 then see this time white can capture on e6 and then can play knight g5 and then queen b3, both protecting this pawn, attacking the pawn on b5, and again, white is managing to gain advantage. While you are busy with winning the pawn on e6, white will win the pawn on b5, and white is enjoying a pretty nice advantage. But in our game, after bishop takes h7 check, Cherepkov chose king f8. Here we have bishop e4, queen d6, black is intensifying the pressure on d5, and queen c2. This is your pawn, you can grab it, I've already munched the pawn on h7 and can penetrate your camp, right? Queen h7 is on the board with a direct mating threat, bishop f6, knight g5, Tal is choosing a more active square for his knight, knight e7, knight e4, knight g8, bishop e3, we have another target, bishop e7, all the time Tal is managing to create problems for his opponent and what I like very much in Tal's style that all the time he finds the most active squares for his pieces. This time we have knight g3, at any moment the knight can jump on f5 square. Rook d6, after which black's position goes down very quickly. Well, by going for e4, black could demonstrate a tougher resistance, but even in this case, white has a huge advantage. 
Let's go back in our game after knight g3 we have rook d6, knight knight f5 with a double attack. You can neutralize both threats only by playing rook g6, but when going for this line Cherepkov overlooked another powerful winning move by Tal. As we have reached the critical position, please pause the video and try to find Mikhail Tal's next move. Ready? Well, I'm sure that in a blink of a second you found that move and that move is queen takes g8. Truly a brilliant move, right? In here we have a resignation e in view of if king takes g8 then knight takes e7 is coming and black is suffering heavy losses in the end of the day white has two extra pieces. That was actually very surprising that Cherepkov missed queen takes g8. Looks like that in complex position when facing tactical motives he was really very weak. What other players missed all sees but I have to tell you that uh, typical moves can be easily overlooked even by strong players. For example let's take a look at this position which is taken from a game played between Alexander Alyokhin and Max Eve. This game was played at their 1937 World Championship rematch. This game was played in round 16 and in here Eve who was playing with the black pieces played queen e5 and what is interesting Alokhin missed the winning move. Queen h8 could allow him to gain a huge advantage. It's surprising, right, that such a strong tactician missed queen h8 move. With this move, white is managing to win a pawn and is getting nice chances of winning in the endgame. With an extra pawn, this should be converted into a victory. Well, in the end, let's also solve a chess puzzle. Please take a look at this position and try to find the winning move for white. This position is taken from a game played between Mikhail Tal and Bruno Parma and this is a thematic puzzle. Again, you have to find a forking motif. I have already given you too many hints and I am sure that you found the winning move in a blink of a second. I will wait for your answer in the comment section. Well, thanks for watching, in the end here are more suggestions for you, feel free to check them out as well, I will see you in my next video, take care.